Hey guys. Um, probably gonna keep this one short, even though I haven't done one in a while. I'm very easily agitated today. I'm having one of those days where everything just feels fucking pointless. Um, I haven't really made a video in a while. Last last uh, last time I made a video was like four days ago, three days ago. I was um, is this recording. Yes, this is a recording. Yeah, so the last time I made a video was a couple days ago. A few days I've been very busy. A couple other days, just laziness. Um, still practicing though. Learned a couple of new things to show you guys. But like I said, I don't plan on being down here very long. I'm getting very easily agitated, and I'm not trying to scream obscenities today. So. Uh, as restless sheep, I have not, I have not um, looked into the the pull-offs yet. I, I have failed to do that. I'm sorry. I, I said I would, but I, I did not. I've been busy dealing with other things, and by that I mean I've been fucking around with other stuff on the guitar. Oh, actually, I don't want this. I haven't done it on this yet. So, this one, I was sitting there, and I was like, holy shit, why haven't I learned this song yet? I'm surprised that this isn't the first song that I tried learning. Um, it's called Flashlight by the Front Bottoms, and it's really fucking simple. And um, I looked at the tabs, and I was able to do it, like, right away. So... the beginning and then it goes into basically the same thing except every single pluck wherever the fuck that's called turns into a chord like that I'm gonna play that one more time for you guys Okay, so like I said before, it is really hard to write music for other music that I've already written. So if that doesn't make sense, it's basically hard for me to write chords to a riff. <laughs> um, or a riff that goes well with another riff in the song. But um, as for writing the riffs, I, I mean I've already written a couple of them and I think they sound alright. Um, I made another one recently that goes like this. I'm not sure how to start it, but I can keep playing. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. Um. Okay. Not clean yet. Um, I can definitely play that clean, so let me just 
Let me get a good groove going. Ooh, I messed up. So yeah, my timing is not perfect on a couple of those, but that's the gist of it. I think it sounds pretty neat. The sounds pretty cool. Um, I, man, I forget what my last video was like, but um, I was trying to learn some sad chords. Um, my my chord my cordage is looking better. You know, I can. <laughs> yeah, that sounded bad. Um, I know a few more chords. Uh, I don't know the names of them in particular. I mean, I know this, this is a C. Poorly sounding C. Um, obviously, I know my D. My E. Is that it? No, this is D. Wait, they're both E's. That one just minor? This is major? A. G. Why does that sound weird? Am I out of tune? Is that the problem? I'm probably out of tune. I haven't touched this guitar down here in a while. And... If you've watched any of my other videos or are observant, it gets pretty fucking cold down here. And when things get cold and then they heat up, they shrink and expand. And uh, that makes your guitar go out of tune. Severely, holy shit. Alright, so it just seems to be the... Um, the E string, the thick E string. So yeah, let's uh, see how that sounds again. Much better. I thought I was doing it right. I was, I was confused. So yeah, E, also E, E minor rather. Um, A, D. Wait, D. D is still kind of difficult for me to get into for whatever reason. I need to curb that habit. Um, there's a couple ones like uh, this is. A, I don't know what this is. I think this is just actually. I think this is called EM. It's kind of dark. I like it. Um, what's this? Nope. A lot of chords with these three frets. I'm sure there's just as many down here. I'm just. It's the only ones I looked at. I had a weird moment today. Um, so the other night, two nights ago I believe, there was a bus that had um, like 30 some people on it. They're all hockey players and hockey people, like coaches and whatnot. Y'all young kids too, it was a juniors team in, up in Saskatchewan, Canada. Um, the highways up there apparently they have like intersections and some of those intersections are just stop signs 
And this is a fucking highway, mind you. And um, apparently it's not cost-effective to put lights up. Regardless, a semi-truck ended up blowing past the stop sign and T-boning the bus. And they, they were like 15 minutes away from the, from the, uh, the hockey rink. And uh, it was awful. Like, the bus basically got split in half. Not basically, it, it did. 14 to 15 people died. 13 of them were between the ages of, I think, 16 was the youngest and 23. Um, the, the head coach and the assistant coach died too. Not to make their deaths any less important, because obviously any life is, but it was just tragic. And uh, yeah, it kind of fucked me up for a little bit. But today, as I've been moping around, just having one of those days where everything felt fucking pointless, I stumbled upon a video on Reddit where one of the guys who was in that bus who died, they posted a link to his YouTube channel, and um, he was an aspiring videographer, and like, I don't know, I'm not sure what the exact, exact term is, but someone who makes videos and edits them and makes them look cool. And the kid was talented, and like, it just fucking hurt, man. Like, the kid was ambitious, you know? He, he just seemed to be taking life by the balls. And uh, he seemed to be doing everything right. And then it's just gone in an instant because of fucking nothing. The kid, kid's clearly a talented hockey player, making it into a pretty high up league in hockey. Has other goals for himself that isn't just hockey. It's, you know, the kid, the kid had more of a plan than fucking half the people on this planet. And from what I hear, he's a good kid too. And he, he's just fucking gone. And, uh, it's fucking tragic, man. And why I'm bringing it up is that I'm sitting here today and I'm getting depressed over, like, fucking nothing. Like, literally, like, I just... It's just petty shit, this stuff that's getting me upset today. Well, it seems petty, but... It might not be, but... It just put things in perspective. Like, I should be happy. I should be happy just to be being able to sit here and talk in front of this fucking camera. I should be happy that I woke up in the morning. You know, I should be happy that I have a beautiful girlfriend. I should be happy that I have a good life. So, I don't know, man. It was just a weird moment I had today. Like, being depressed over, like, this nothing. And meanwhile, these fucking 15 kids with their whole life ahead of them just taken away. Life's so weird, man. Life is so weird. So that's why I want to write music. You can't explain this shit sometimes. It's tragic. Life's tragic. It's also beautiful. Doesn't really make sense, though, does it? None of this shit really makes sense to me. I feel like I should end this here. <laughs> no, I've hardly even played today. I don't know, sorry, that was kind of word soup. Word soup. And meanwhile, the news is playing bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. Fifteen fucking kids died. And no one I know is hearing about this.
yeah, I'm not, I'm not in the mood to push myself today. If I start getting frustrated, I'm gonna start throwing shit. <laughs> today man I cannot shake this feeling
yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done today.